Hello everybody, this is Jesse from NACO Tech Support. And today in this video, we're going to go over how to install the LTE dual path radio when it's DAC connected to a fire alarm control panel. So let's begin the install. As you can see, we already have an electrical box, double or triple gang mounted to the wall. We have our conduit <clears throat> going to our fire alarm control panel. Our wires are already sleeved through. And we mounted the radio on the box. So let's go over the connections. So the first connection is going to be the power for the radio, which goes on terminals 1 and 2. 1 is positive, and 2 is negative. Next, we're going to wire our trouble zone to output number 1, the Form C relay on the radio. This is can be wired normally open or normally closed. Whatever you need for your particular application. And then we're going to make sure that we use the end of line resistor for the fire panel we're installing on or the addressable module. This was good and snug. Then we can go ahead and tuck the wiring nice and neatly into the radio. And finally, this radio has modular plugs to connect to the fire alarm control panel. So we may need to do a crimp. This is pretty simple. We just one. 22-4 wire will suffice because we just need tip and ring the center two pairs. So we can just take a modular jack. And slide it on. Making sure that we are in the center two pins. You should have three empty pins on each side. And then we can go ahead and take a crimping tool and make sure we get a good solid crimp so the pins connect to the wire. And then we're just going to repeat that process with our second pair. Now this is only necessary if your fire alarm control panel has two telco jacks, which, which most fire panels do, but some can be um, turned off in order to take away the supervision. I'm going to have to make a little trim. Get them even. Again, we just want to ensure we're in the center two pins. Slide them in there nice. Make sure they're all the way up. And then again, take our crimping tool, make a good solid crimp. And then the last step is just plugging them in. Now remember, this is primary telco line, this is secondary telco line. Plug them in, and we can stick our Cabling back in the hole a little bit. Plug them both in. Neaten up the wire. Now we can go ahead and make our connections in the fire alarm control panel to power up the radio and tie in the trouble zone. And once all that's done, the last step would just be installing the cover. and screwing it down. And 
Now, just a review, we went over how to wire the Starlink LTE dual path radio. Fully UL compliant when connected to a DAC on the fire alarm control panel mounted on electrical box and the wiring sleeve and conduit. Went over the connections for power trouble and how to do your crimps for your primary and secondary telco. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.